Hi students, welcome back. This is Lesson 29, Session 1. We are on page 601. We are learning about problems about length, liquid volume, mass, and weight. Let's get started. Julia buys a spool with 12 yards of wire. The students in her jewelry making class use 4 yards, 2 feet of the wire for her one project, and 7 feet of the wire for another project. How many feet of the wire does Julia have left? Okay, so this is going to be another one of those problems where we um, can use a model to solve this problem. So, um, we know that her spool of wire has 12 yards and that her class uses 4 yards 2 feet and for one project and 7 feet for the other. Anytime we are using me you know, measurements, it's always easiest to go to the smallest. Since we see that we have yards and feet, feet is obviously our smallest measurement. So let's make our bar model. 12 yards is what we have, but again, we said we're going to the smaller measurement. So we need to figure out how many feet are in 12 yards. We know that... So we're going to take yards to... Feet. So we know that in one yard there is three feet. Okay? So I'm going to multiply 12 times 3. 2 times 3 is 6. 3 times 1 is 3. So I have 36 feet of wire. So in her jewelry making class, they use four yards, two feet, okay? So again, we have to figure out four yards, two feet. One yard equals three feet. So four times three is 12. But we have two more. So 12 plus two is 14 feet in one of her classes. And it says 7 feet in her other class. So how much is left? So this is the amount of wire that is left. So let's use our equation. The amount of wire left is W equals 36 minus 14 plus 7. Okay? So... 14 plus 7 is 21. 36 minus 21 is 15. So she has 15 feet left of wire. Let's go ahead and turn to page 602. On 602, we can look here and see where they um, converted this. Oh, nope, this is a different, oh yeah, it's the same problem. They um, see here where they have 7 feet and 4 feet. We're going to go ahead and skip over to um, our green pages here on units of length. So we were working with time, now we're skipping over to length. And length is something that a lot of students struggle with. Um, so ways that we can talk about length, we can use um, we can use a ruler. And a ruler, um, it usually is measured in inches, and it usually is one foot. Um, a lot of times it will measure one inch. We also have um, yardsticks that measure three feet. We have metric units of length. And they are centimeters. meters 
and kilometers. Some examples are our customary, which is what um, we usually use in America. But a lot of other places around the world use metric. And we use inches, feet, and yards, which I'm sure all of you have probably seen in your classroom. And we should know that one foot equals 12 inches, and one yard equals three feet. Some examples of metric is one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. And there are 100 centimeters in one meter. Okay, write two different units you could use to measure the following. So your finger, so your finger you could use to measure with probably inches and centimeters. Your desk, um, probably feet and probably inches. The length of your classroom, I would say uh, yards, and something we're um, not as familiar with is meters, but meters would be a good way to measure it too because it would be quicker than feet, but around here we probably would use feet. All right, Maya has seven yards of ribbon. She uses four yards to make bows and one yard two feet for her wreath. How many feet of ribbon does Maya have left? So since we are using the smaller, which is feet, that means we need to convert everything into feet. So seven yards equals how many feet? We know that um, one yard equals three feet. So that means we're gonna multiply three times seven which is 21 feet. So we're beginning with 21 feet, okay? She uses four yards to make a bow, so we gotta convert that to feet. Four yards to how many feet? Again, one yard equals three feet. Four times three means 12. So she uses 12 feet to make a bow, one yard, two feet, so one yard, we can easily say three feet, plus two more equals five. So she uses five feet for that, which means how much of feet of ribbon does she have left? So we can add 12 plus five, which equals 17. So now we have to do 21 minus 17, which equals Four. So she has four feet left. And we don't need to do this because we already made a model. That is it for lesson one, session one. I will see you back for session two.